they essentially have to present a case on why do they really need Manish Sisodia to be in their custody uh, to for, for further questioning or what additional information do they expect to get from uh, Manish Sisodia if he stays in their custody for a few more days. Now what the Amadvi party's case on the other hand is they are saying that Manish Sisodia is in Delhi, uh, he is not taking a flight to any other country, he is not leaving Delhi uh, and he's not, he is going to be present for any CBI questioning whenever the CBI calls them. So uh, the, the Amadvi party's side is saying that why do you need to arrest him, why do you need, why do you need to keep him in, in custody when he's ready to come for your questioning whenever you want, when he's not leaving Delhi, he's not left Delhi for the past eight months ever, this, uh, ever since this liquor uh, policy case began. So the Aam Aadmi Party is essentially saying that ever since the case began, Manish Sisodia has not left the country or he's not uh, went underground. So it's not the case that he's going to go underground now. So if at all you need to question him, you can just call him, summon him whenever you want to question him and he'll be there uh, to uh, serve those summons. But on the other hand, the CBI will put its case on why it's absolutely necessary for them to have a custody of Manish Sisodia at the CBI headquarters for uh, 10 to 14 days or however many days that the CBI asks for. So those are the two cases that are going to be put forth in front of the, the, the CBI court, uh, uh, the Rouse Avenue court in the national capital. So that's what we'll all wait for. And what we can uh, also tell you, the latest information coming in from the CBI court, uh, Sisodia has been produced, Manish Sisodia has been produced at the CBI court and the hearing has begun around two, three minutes from, uh, uh, around two, three minutes ago. And the CBI has submitted the case diary for the perusal of the court. So the, this case diary essentially uh, presents all that CBI has uh, against Mr. Manish Sosodia, the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister. Remember, the primary evidence that, uh, uh, one of the primary evidence that uh, the CBI has against Manish Sosodia is one of the excise department, the Delhi government excise department officials saying that uh, and um, signaling that Mr. Manish Sosodia had a role in tailoring the Delhi liquor policy to favor some private individuals and to favor some people, um, some liquor uh, contractors and liquor retailers. Now, that statement, uh, it's recorded under CRPC 164, which is recorded uh, under a magistrate and that is admissible as evidence. So that's a crucial piece of evidence that uh, that the CBI has. One of uh, Manish Sisodia's own officials, one of the officials of the excise department himself, saying uh, uh, that uh, Manish Sisodia has a role in tailoring that excise policy to favor some people. So that's the primary allegation and the primary evidence that the CBI uh, also has in this case. Now the CBI has sought five days of custody for Manish Sisodia. That's the latest breaking news that we're getting from uh, the Rouse Avenue court. Uh, we were expecting uh, that the CBI will, uh, of course, see custody of 5 to uh, 14 days of Manish Sisodia. But now we know that the CBI has sought five days of custody for Manish Sisodia. If this gets granted, then Manish Sisodia will stay right here at the CBI headquarters for the next five days where the CBI will question him further in the Delhi liquor policy case. Uh, and uh, what we also must remember is that uh, there is a maximum period of 14 day custody that the CBI can ask for. So if at all that that five, this five-day custody is granted to the Central Bureau of Investigation after this these five days get over they can again ask for more days until that 14-day period gets exhausted so right now they've gone for four days uh, for five days I beg your pardon if this gets granted Manish Sodia will stay here for five days if the CBI is uh, satisfied with that questioning then the police custody will end there but if the CBI is not satisfied with that with that questioning then they might seek more days of custody and that the, so that the total number of days that period is fixed at 14 days currently they've sought five days of course uh, the CBI while uh, asking for the five-day custody has said that Manish Sisodia is accused number one in the CBI's FIR in the Delhi liquor policy case and they also say that the investigation has revealed that Sisodia gave the draft note to the excise commissioner now remember, as my colleague Arvind Gunasekhar had been reporting on the CBI's uh, details on why they want to arrest Manish Sisodia. Now the CBI sources said that in the first draft of the liquor policy, uh, there was no mention of uh, certain provisions that were added later. And they say that these are the provisions that favoured some private players, favoured some liquor retailers. So this is, these are the provisions uh, that are being talked about here, that uh, certain provisions were added to the Delhi liquor policy, certain provisions that 
weren't there in the first draft and they say uh, that uh, the investigation has revealed that Sodia gave the draft note to the excise commissioner, the draft note adding those provisions that allegedly favoured some people. They also say uh, that uh, investigation has also revealed that Sisodia removed the opinion of the legal expert from the draft note. That's also a major allegation that the CBI is making that as Sisodia um, uh, was in, uh, uh, played a role in adding those extra provisions uh, to favour, uh, to make the Delhi liquor policy favour some people, he also removed the opinion of the legal expert from the draft note. These are, um, uh, this is uh, also source-based information that we've been reporting earlier as well, but now this is the exact information that the CBI has presented in the CBI court while seeking a five-day custody for Manish Sisodia. So they're saying that the investigation has revealed that Sisodia removed the opinion of the legal expert from the draft note. That's a serious allegation. So they're essentially saying that uh, he removed that crucial opinion in the draft note to add certain provisions to favor some people and after which he received money, he received kickbacks from these people who the liquor policy favored. So that's the allegations. That's the case that essentially the CBI is making that there at the CBI court while they seek five days of custody. On the other hand, the Aam Aadmi Party has been repeatedly saying, as I was pointing out, that uh, Manish Sisodia has not fled the country or he's not even fled Delhi and he's going to be available for questioning whenever the CBI calls him, whenever the CBI summons him. So they're saying that whenever you want to question him further, we want to fully cooperate with the investigation, but why do you really need to arrest him when he's going to be present there whenever you summon him for questioning? So that's what the Aam Aadmi Party's side is and that's what they're going to argue essentially, that you can call him for a questioning whenever you want. We're going to cooperate with the investigation, but why do you need to arrest him? Why do you need this police custody for him? But the CBI so, saying uh, that uh, uh, the CBI, of course, putting forth these allegations as they seek five days. Now, we're also getting latest information from the court now. Uh, the, the CBI says that the draft note was recovered from the computer of Manish Sisodia, which shows that the profit margin clause was changed from 5% to 12%. And that's uh, what we had, uh, in fact, earlier reported on. Uh, my colleague mm -hmm. Arvind Gunasekhar had reported on in the afternoon as well.